गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग आर चैप्टर टू इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर एंड इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सस्पेंशन एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज वी गो थ्रू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज एंड वी लर्न हाउ डज द सस्पेंशन बिहेव तो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज कोलोइडल सोल्यूशंस और वी कैन से कोलोइड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we have to see what are colloids or we can say what is a colloidal solution a colloidal solution or colloids a colloid is a kind of solution in which the size of solute particles is intermediate between those in true solution and those in suspension so listen it carefully a colloid is a kind of solution in which the size of solute particles is intermediate intermediate between those in true solution and those in suspension it means the size of the particles the size of the solute particles in colloidal solution is bigger than the true the particles of the true solution but it is smaller than the particles of the suspension ट्रू सोल्यूशन के पार्टिकल से साइज क्या होगा बड़ा होगा बट सस्पेंशन के पार्टिकल्स का साइज जितना है उसे पार्टिकल का साइज क्या होगा क्लोडल में स्मॉल होगा ठीक है वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉपर्टी इन क्लोडल सोल्यूशन इज दे अपीयर्स टू बी होमोजीनियस दे अपीयर्स टू बी होमोजीनियस वी ओर नो दैट ट्रू सोल्यूशन आर होमोजीनियस and suspensions are heterogeneous we can see them and we can easily tell that the solution is homogeneous and suspensions are heterogeneous but we got confused in colloids because they appears to be homogeneous but actually they are not homogeneous they are heterogeneous if we saw them from the naked eyes we will say that the solution is a the mixture is a homogeneous mixture but if we observe through a high power microscope then we are going to identify that that a mixture is not a homogeneous mixture rather the mixture is a heterogeneous mixture because the particles are not uniformly distributed clear an example of the colloid solutions are milk soap solution ink blood solution of synthetic detergents these all are the examples of colloidal solutions or we can say colloids so for making a colloidal solution what we can do if we shake some soap powder with water in a beaker we get a colloidal soap solution which is not perfectly transparent it is somewhat translucent the soap particles can't be seen by us because we can't see the smaller particles of the colloidal solution one more property which is shown by the colloidal solutions are is tinder are the scattering of light or we can say tinder effect we had discussed in true solutions that if we pass the true if the pass the light through the true solution we can't see the path of the light through the solution because the particles of the solute are very small they do not strike with the strike the strike to the light and they do not scatter the light but in case of colloidal solutions the particles are big enough to scatter the light they can easily scatter the light and if we take a torch and pa pa pass the light through the suppose we are having colloidal solution in this and we are having a torch here if we switch on the torch the light pass through this solution and we can clearly see the path like this in the solution because the, there are particles which can scatter the light and we can easily see the path of the light through the solution but you know this is this was not possible in true solution because the particles the size of the solute particle is very small 
सो दिस इफेक्ट ऑफ स्कैटरिंग ऑफ लाइट बीम इज कॉल्ड टिंडल इफेक्ट इट इज गिवन दिस नेम टिंडल इफेक्ट बाय द नेम ऑफ द साइंटिस्ट विच फर्स्टली ऑब्जर्वड और वी कैन से डिस्कवर्ड दिस इफेक्ट दैट्स वाइट इज नेम्ड एज टिंडल इफेक्ट where we can observe it in the real life when a fine beam of light enters a room through a small hole suppose you are in a dark room there is no light inside the room and there is a small hole in one of the wall of the room and light is coming from the other room so when if you observe that carefully you can see the path of the light is clearly visible the light which is coming through that hole is clearly visible entering in your room it would look something like this so it's the path of light and why we can see this path of light because here also it is due to the tyndall effect here also the the particles of dust or dirt in the air it is also an example of colloidal solution and particles of dust and dirt in the air scatter the light and we can see the path of the light clearly through the hole clear to everyone second observation is when sunlight passes through the canopy of a dense forest when whenever there is a dense forest and sun rises we can easily observe this tyndall effect there also let's see how observe this picture so what you are seeing here you can easily see the path of the light going in different direction this is also tyndall effect observation of tyndall effect and why does this happen this is also due to the scattering of the light clear so i think you had get the idea how what is tyndall effect and how does this work you can see here clearly we had a laser beam we can't see the path of light in the pure water but in colloidal solution the path of the light is clearly visible because here are some small particles which scatter the light and it makes us see the path of the light this is our tyndall effect so that's all for today in our next class we are going to uh, continue with this uh, with the same topic and we are going to discuss about the different properties of the colloidal solution Thank you so much